Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. Now I do know that this is the time when you're going to start giving all your exams, competitive exams and everything. You're waiting for your results. All the very best guys. I hope you do the best you can. You get exactly what you have written in your paper. So a little more than that or exactly that. So all the best way for that guys I still remember like seven years back six years back I six years seven years back when I was going through this phase I was freaking out I was legitimately freaking out I was literally on my nerves every time because during this stage we had started to realize that we are going to give exams and everything and the first part was the month after that so the month after that we had to start going for our colleges for our universities so i had already created a list of universities and courses i wanted to do i had created that list from the start of my 12th so that I gave all these examinations the worst part was to wait for the results the anticipation the anxiety killed me as such i'm a person who struggles with a lot of anxiety so this was the worst thing ever for me and when finally the results came for my air triple i got around forty thousand national rank it is not bad but it is not very good either because some of my friends got like two lakhs or something it was really funny other things were like vit srm and everything that was cleared i think that was cleared by everyone because those examinations are really easy those colleges really want people and it's a private college so it's like if you have money go it's like that so all those examinations were cleared so at least i had a safety net to fall back upon and then finally came my good CET score, which is my 50% of my boards plus the 50% of the examination I give, if I'm not wrong, that was that. So for that, my state rank was 300 plus, which was a very good thing, but a bad thing because I was in CBSE. So since I was in CBSE, I could not sit on the seats of the, you know, students who were going into the state board. Fair enough, because they cannot come to us and we cannot go to theirs. There was a huge mess that was created by the Indian government and education system at that time. So we were literally, you know, like everyone was confused, not only me, but also the state guys, the people who had given air triple E, everyone was confused because honestly, we were 18 year olds. We were actually doing what a lot of things were laid down for us. So it was a lot of confusion for a lot of us actually. So the universities started by July, the undergrad university started by July and I joined my university for undergrad in September. Now I did join a couple of universities in the middle. So I did take up a course like civil and mechanical, but I was not interested in any of them. I was not interested in the university because the universities I went to before I joined my original undergrad university. I don't know what, but there was a lot of staring culture guys used to come up and talk and all that kind of bullshit stuff and i personally did not like that i was always in a you know a very small body school where there were like 300 to 400 kids in the entire school i was always in a small group so for me i was unable to understand why strangers strange guys are coming up and talking girls are giggling for me that was a culture that was like uh, okay uh something is wrong with you guys but yeah so for me that culture was not um, you know kind of in the zone i wanted to be in so i was not happy i was really sad i used to cry all the time and all that stuff so finally finally in the last round of counseling there were some seats that were left for the cbse students and since my rank was good i immediately qualified for that thing so it happened to me i think during the fifth counseling where I got the seat I wanted, I got the course I wanted to do, not something like civil and mechanical, no offense, but that was not my interest area. So finally I got a seat where I was talking about machines, technology and all that stuff. So I was really happy about it. Going to the fact of how much I paid for my undergrad. So my first, I got into the government seat. So luckily the first year for me was around 6,000 rupees the entire year, 6,000 rupees for my, uh, library fees, my exam fees, my tuition fees, everything combined together was 6,000 rupees. I think it is still the same for a lot of people in Gujarat. 7,000 was my second year fee, 7,000 again was my third year fee, so it's like 3,500 per semester. And fourth year, it was around 8,000 because it is, I think, the most expensive semester. So all in all, I was done in 28,000 rupees, guys. 28,000 rupees, I got my BTEC in Instrumentation and Control Engineering. 
Now, why am I telling you this, guys? Because a lot of times it is going to happen that your friends are going to get a university better than you. They are going to get it before you. And that time is going to drive you crazy, literally crazy. Some of us can handle it. Some of us cannot. I clearly could not handle it at that time. But I could not ask my parents to, you know, go and pay for uh, NRI quota or, you know, all that kind of seats you have. So a lot of students, a lot of my friends paid for that and they studied for like 13 lakhs, 14 lakhs. And I personally cannot imagine paying that much for a BTEC, honestly. No offense, it's a degree, it's a great degree. No, it's not a great degree, it's an average degree. But you cannot pay that much for your undergrad. At the end of the day, it depends on who, who you are, what you have, what you're getting to the table, not how much you are paying for your undergrad is going to create any difference for you. So all in all, including my Aane jaane ka kharcha, my hostel ka kharcha, my pocket money and everything. Remember, I used to earn in my college also. So all that kharcha, it costed me around 2 to 3 lakhs, not me, my parents. And there was obviously a return of investment on that because it was just 2 to 3 lakhs. But some people spent 14 to 15 lakhs alone on tuition fees and 5 lakhs rehne karne ka kharcha, aram se rehne karne ka kharcha, gaadiyo mein aane ka kharcha. So that took a quite a lot on their parents and some of them did not land a job. This is example of some of my beautiful classmates, not classmates, but batchmates. Again, they insisted their parents to send them outside. So again, that took like 40, 50 lakhs of their kharcha. Some of them were rich, they could handle it. Some of them were not and their parents had to take the burden of it. So the reason I'm saying it is that do have a little bit of patience, guys. There are always a lot of seats that are empty and if you're good, you are going to get it. People say that marks define you, marks don't define you. They just put you on a certain good benchmark. They give you a decent start off, but they don't decide you. They are not end of everything. Do you know, tell my 18 year old self back that stop worrying for everything that is going to happen. And the same thing I'm going to tell it to you guys. Don't pester your parents or your family to pay your NRI quota fees and everything from the first counseling session at least wait till the fourth one there are usually around five to six there are always around five to six wait for it hope you like this video guys because more such honest and brutal and reality videos are coming up your way thank you for watching